Hello everyone, Storm101 here. Today we'll be taking a look at a winter storm that will be happening across portions of the Midwest and even including uh, portions of the Great Lakes as well. We'll be taking a look to the weather prediction centers, winter weather impact forecast or winter storm impacts I should say. Particularly to the watch warning map and we'll also be taking a look to some models and what they show for snowfall totals as well. So let's go ahead and get started with the watch warning map here. You can see here areas in the orange here. Those are blizzard warnings that's in effect for Central Iowa, which I think someone said this is like their third time being in a blizzard warning this year, so that's kind of crazy. Now, to say the least, there may be some blizzard conditions. I don't think it's going to be really widespread or anything, but there may be an opportunity for some blizzard conditions, maybe for portions of Wisconsin, maybe a little bit more into Iowa, maybe southeastern Minnesota up into upper Michigan. There may be a chance for some brief uh, blizzard conditions. But other than that, uh, we do have winter weather advisories in effect here, which that may eventually get upgraded to it updated there. Uh, we may eventually see winter storm warnings maybe get expanded into a little bit more of Wisconsin, maybe into northeastern Iowa. We're going to see about that, but we also do have winter storm warnings in effect for up really most of upper Michigan, northeast of Wisconsin, even across northern, northwestern Illinois and eastern Iowa, which is a little bit interesting for some of those areas there as well. We may get to see a little bit of expansion of some winter weather viruses, maybe a little bit more into Indiana, maybe into Ohio, and eventually maybe into Michigan, but we'll see about that. So let's take a look at two of the latest hard model run. So your system, well, there'll be two different lows with this one. You got one low that's been going on along the Canadian border. You got another one out here. This is a little bit stronger. This is eventually going to move to the northeast. And eventually get into the Great Lakes here. This here will be moving out. And this here is going to be bringing in some of that cold air with it. And you can see here I have a band of at times heavy snow behind that front and as they kind of merge a little bit into together and this is let's see the timing of this if I could move that down so this is getting into Thursday afternoon so here your lows right here are across really somewhere around central Missouri about a thousand millibar low you got your other low up across northern Wisconsin upper Michigan you can see here, it's got some pretty good area of heavy snow on the back side of that. That can bring us some of those cumulations quickly. And then as you kind of get into Thursday evening, you got a wave of heavy snow across, really, uh, central and several Wisconsin, and eventually get into northern Illinois. Yeah, that's a, that's a healthy amount of snow there. And eventually, getting into Thursday night, it's kind of wave of just very heavy snow across northern Illinois, northern Wisconsin, uh, not Wisconsin, um, Ohio, and really most of Michigan experiencing quite a bit of snow going on, but I think that's going to be overdone with the snowfall rates and stuff like that. I think there's going to be uh, lesser snowfall rates with this one here. And that kind of slips by there, and also... If you're in these regions here, you expect a decent amount of wind out of the system. So just to keep in mind that wind gusts may approach 50 miles an hour in some areas. And then that passes through, and there's going to be quite a bit of lake effect snow really around Lake Michigan here across really western portions of Michigan. Be experiencing some lake effect snow in the same way for upper Michigan there as well. It looks like that showed the potential for some snow squalls behind it, but we'll see about that. And let's take a look at the snowfall amounts with this. And this may be the most accurate out of the rest. But you can see here, pretty decent snowfall amounts across Upper Michigan here. At least eight, 8 inches of snow for pretty much nearly everybody in Upper Michigan. We get a little bit closer to one of the lakes up there. I forgot what it's called, to be honest with you. Um, but that's where you can see the, the chance for maybe a foot of snow 
but some of it's going to be from the system, and you get, and some of it's going to be lake effect snow. But we'll go western Michigan here. There'll be a chance some areas may be able to pick up up to eight, and maybe a little bit more snow, eight inches or a little bit more. So be watching for that. Meanwhile, across really northern Wisconsin, maybe a chance for seven plus inches of snow, and then. Really central and eastern Iowa, northern Illinois, and most of Wisconsin, and southeastern Minnesota. There could be some widespread two to four inch amounts, maybe some places may even reach close to five inches. But we'll see about that. But either way, there's going to be a decent amount of snow coming in, and there may be a chance for some near blizzard conditions in some of those regions. So this is the Harris Nam. It's similar to what the herd has it. Higher snowfall amounts really around Lake Michigan. Let me get a different color out with this one. Around Lake Michigan, uh, well, upper Michigan, got some pretty good snowfall amounts. Same way for western Michigan, where some of that would be involved with lake effect snow. It's also a little bit more widespread. It shows more areas picking up over six inches of snow, especially across southeastern Minnesota. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, southeastern Minnesota and uh, some portions of Iowa as well not quite into Illinois so so that's the highest NAM this is the rapid refresh model you can see here a little bit lesser on those some of those amounts but when you actually go for the entire event there we go you can see here Western Michigan here six plus inches of snow upper Michigan Widespread A plus inches of snow. Similar situation for northern Wisconsin. Actually, that's going to be six plus inches of snow. But generally speaking, for pretty much everybody has a decent chance of getting at least a couple inches of snow out of this event, which is like southern Minnesota, most of Iowa, northern Illinois. Pretty much everybody in Wisconsin will at least get two inches of snow, pretty much. And even for eastern uh, Nebraska, uh, Nebraska, and also southern South Dakota as well. Even looking at two portions of Indiana and Ohio, this ball here is spinning out two to three inches of snow, but I think that's going to be a little bit overdone in some of those regions. The Nam is a similar way, but it's a little bit aggressive here with the snow across eastern Iowa and Wisconsin here. I think that's a little bit overdone. It shows seven to nine inches of snow across some of those regions. But really anywhere else is nearly the same. But it's also quite aggressive across portions of Indiana and Ohio. I feel we can see accumulations across some of these reaches, but amounts that's likely going to be too high. It's got some areas picking up close to 5 inches in some regions, but I think that's a little bit overdone. And everybody's favorite, the high-risk Canadian. This is the same on the show, 50 inches of snow on the nor'easter. Now... With this setup here, it shows widespread 4 plus inches of snow for a lot of areas, which I don't think that's going to happen, especially across Indiana and Ohio. You know, some areas in Illinois can see 4 inches of snow, and I think that's going to be a little bit overdone. But look across western Michigan there. I mean, some areas pick it up up to 9 inches. It's also not really the same for... Upper Michigan, it's actually got some areas really as low as four inches in some spots. So that's interesting there. That's probably a little bit underdone. Most of Wisconsin, generally speaking, four to maybe eight inches of snow in some regions. It's a little bit aggressive across southern Minnesota, but I don't think uh, the price can is not that accurate. But I think the most accurate model, maybe the better handle with this, is probably going to be the Hermo, I think it's going to be the most accurate out of the rest with this event here. So let's look at the National Weather Service snowfall forecast. And now this is for the next 40 hours, which it pretty much goes for the entire event. And like I said, where some of those regions, you know, showing four inches of snow, like I overdone, look at the National Weather Service forecast. Some of those areas from the models are showing over four inches of snow, pretty much only a coating. Or a couple of fractions of an inch. Which I think that's probably going to be what's most likely going to happen. But some areas may be able to get close to an inch of snow. But we'll see about that. 
But generally speaking, I think Wisconsin, Upper Michigan, even Western Michigan will probably take as most of the snow out of this event. There's a pretty bad agreement here. I mean, just look at that. That's not a good agreement here with the National Service offices here. I think for whatever National Service office that covers this region here, it's likely probably going to be under doing those snowfall amounts. I mean, compared to the others, it's showing higher amounts. So we got some uncertainty with each uh, National Service offices. But they do show a good chunk of northern Wisconsin of 7 to 9 inches of snow. Upper Michigan is actually showing 9 to a to 9 to 11 inches of snow with some areas picking up over a foot. But that's mainly going to be due to lake fix snow. And also look at two central and northern Michigan. Got some areas picking up over six inches of snow, which some of that's going to be dealing with lake effect snow. So that's the National Weather Service forecast there. And this is the winter storm impacts from the Weather Prediction Center. Now this is for our tire event, days one through three, which you know includes today. You can see here, areas in the orange, that's going to be moderate impacts here, which it does include most of upper Michigan, northeastern Wisconsin, western Michigan, even includes around the Detroit area, northern Illinois, and even north central Iowa there as well. Areas in yellow, that's minor impacts, which, you know, that will mean some impacts to maybe travel, which what really all this is about, you know, is to damage the property. That's basically what this is. You know, if it's going to be moderate impacts to damage your property, you know, that's what it basically means there. Now, areas in the light blue, that's just limited impacts. So that's pretty much means that it's not really going to be too big of a deal. But what's also interesting here, they got minor impacts as far south as Northern Kentucky, which I don't think we're going to see have really much of any impacts that far south with that. But we'll see about that. Now, I do apologize. I don't really have time to make a snowfall forecast, but I'll tell you this. That if I were going to make a snowfall forecast, you know, it's probably going to look a little bit similar to the herd model. I think it's got the better handle with this setup than the rest of the models. So, if you guys are interested, you know, what my forecast, what my thoughts are going to be, it's basically probably going to be like the herd model. So, yeah, on that. But, Anyways, guys, this arc for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. If you really do like my channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so you never miss an upload. If you guys have questions about this, you can put a comment section down below. I'll answer you guys' questions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.